Hello everybody, welcome back to the Minecraft YouTube tutorial. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make a total clear joint counter for your Minecraft bedrock world. So I hope you guys like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so as you can see, we don't really have that much of a complicated setup. All you can see is that there's one repeating command block and two chain commands. Now, first of all, you'll want to create a scoreboard which I will show you how to make right now. Alright, so as you can see, we also have the scoreboard right here. As you can see, it's scoreboard, objectives, add total join dummy TJ. You can write anything on this TJ part, the dummy part, because it doesn't really matter. We're not going to be displaying the scoreboard, so it doesn't. you can just type in anything you want. So anyways, you can also type this down in chat. You can write in scoreboard, objectives, add total join dummy TJ. As you can see, the objectives already created because we already have the objective to use. So the next one is going to be getting the repeating command block. Alright, as soon as you set up the commands like this, remember to make them pointy. So I've noticed that some people sometimes confuse that the arrows are not sometimes pointing the commands. It's important that your format for the command blocks are pointing on each other. As you can see, the arrows are pointing in one direction, meaning this command is connected to this and this command is connected to this. So let's go for the first command right here. As you can see, it's a repeating unconditional and this should be always active but i put it on each resident for display purposes so you can see the command is execute at all tag equals quotient mark joined run scoreboard players add count total joint one so basically any player that doesn't have the tag joined it gets the scoreboard and then it adds a one to the scoreboard that is the player's count so the next command is going to be the announcement command where everybody's going to oh people, this guy has first time to join our world this guy's the maybe the 12th player so as you can see, it's executes at all tag equals quotient mark joined run tell raw at all raw text text welcome to the world total players that have joined and then this is the important part the score name count objective total join. It's important to put the name is the count because our objective that we are using is the player count right here and here's our objective total join and you can format this raw text anything you want it doesn't really matter you don't have to copy it like this you can customize it as much as you want. So the next command is going to be obviously our last one, which is the tag. So basically, if a player joins, they don't automatically have the tag joined. So obviously, it will trigger the repeating command block. And after that, it will send a message and then it will give them the tag joined. So as you can see, it's slash tag at all tag equals quotient mark joint at joint. So you can see these are chain condition on always active. I forgot to mention this is also a chain condition on always active for the tell raw command. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple command, so let me show you a demonstration. Alright, so as you can see, we have an action bar that says total players joined 1, and this should increase by 1, it should be 2 after I join an alt account, and it should send a message. So let me join in an alt account, and let's see what happens. Alright, as you can see, it says welcome to the world, total players that have joined 2. So you can see the number increases by 2, and if I were to join other alt account, it should increase to 3. And even if I were to leave, as you can see, the count stays the same. That's the difference between the player counter display and the total players that have joined display because you guys might get that confused so anyways um take note of this that the the count doesn't really isn't really accurate sometimes you might make this in a world that's already pre-made and some people already have joined and that's gonna not give a this accurate account it's gonna start from when you created the command so um it's kind of better to make this in a new world so it would have a more accurate number unless you know how to tamper files what i did is um i would go to the files of minecraft and i would check how many players there are and that's how i was able to approximate how many players have joined my world all right as you guys can see it only takes three command blocks to make this command i hope this helped you in your worlds and i hope you guys like and subscribe and without further ado goodbye <laughs>